Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. It is a good day to be a Halo Mega fan and that's because I just within the last couple of hours received the official assets for the new blind bag series and I'm here to share them with you today. Before I begin today I also want to give a really quick shout out to Strandy42, LS3D Printing and a lot of other custom creators in the community that are all pooling together to make some really special content for the Halo Championship Series final in October. All of your work is awesome right now. Keep the momentum. Thanks to Mega for sending these over to me. There's been, you know, a couple of leaks and now they're actually starting to be available in stores, which is crazy. The turnaround from, you know, production to in stores can sometimes be lightning fast. I've known about these assets for quite a while. I held the blind bags in my hands about two months ago back in Montreal, and I gotta tell you, they are exceptional. We have two videos coming out uh, in the near future, not quite just yet, but soon. In the first one, I sit down with Kevin, the Halo lead designer, and we go over each of the blind bag figures one by one. And the second video is I sit down with Ben, who's another member of Mega's team, and he actually was the one that was responsible for making most of the molds for this series and most of the molds that you've seen in the past. He's like the Halo guy. We open all the blind bags together. It's a great video. I'm currently working on a lot of these videos and you're gonna see a lot more soon you know as the brand ambassador for mega i'm literally here to push this community forward and i want to let you know quickly before we get on with this video first of all i submitted all of your feedback regarding the falcon sweep including all the polls i did and i submitted all that to mega in a nice presentation and they're looking at that information now so make of that what you will that is the current situation with the falcon sweep and on saturday three days ago two days ago the greatest video i've ever made came out here we go boys It's my behind the scenes look at San Diego Comic Con and there's a load of little snippets of the Montreal videos in there as well. There's tons of insights. You get to meet some of the staff members at Mega. You have to go watch that video. It's incredible. Without further ado, this is Halo Universe Series 3, the brand new blind bag series from Halo Mega. I'm only going to skim over the details today. I'm going to go through the figures one by one and then I'm going to have more insights when I sit down with Kevin and Ben in the future. First of all, we're back up to eight figures, guys. Like, it was, um, there's a lot of feedback. I, I gave a lot of feedback directly to Mega about this and we're back up to eight figures and I think that's a whole community effort, so good job. And the reason we're back up to eight figures is because two of these figures are repeats from previous seasons. We have the Chips Dubo and the Billy the Grunt, who is a... Uh, now more officially the Billy the Grunt than ever before. You'll have to see in the next video. But the CE Marine and the Halo 3 Grunt, they are repeats from previous series, and that's apparently why Mega were able to boost it back up to 8. And I'm all for it. Like, bring back CE Marine every day of the week. It's amazing. So we're going to start with the common figures and work up to the rare and the ultra rare, and whew, first of all, a Flood Brute absolutely remarkable and it's actually got its own sculpted head instead of a head popped onto a torso which I love clearly listening to feedback as they go with this they've got the same compatible arm it looks incredible and it's the return of the spiker and oh man holding this thing in your hands is remarkable the flood marine that comes in the new heroes that is quite hard to get although heroes 18 uh it's starting to it's coming out more and more it's been in mayors and kroger a lot and uh, just got an entertainment earth release but yeah the flood 
brute looks remarkable, and the marbling on that figure is really good in person. I think the thing that took people by surprise is we have a Halo 2 Elite, but uh, when the Blind Bag series leaked, I'm not going to show the leaked image, but when it leaked, everybody thought that it was the Shipmaster head mold reused, like the half jaw, and people were pretty, pretty disappointed about that. But no, this is a full new headpiece, the helmet. It's a brand new mold, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So we finally have a Halo 2 Elite, and it comes with a new mold plasma rifle, which is also amazing. I'm gonna keep on coming back to how good of an army building series this is, but like truly, the Infinite Series 5 blind bags that we just got, like they were good, but they were just Spartans, and you really just need one of those each. This, I wanna be able to buy these for years. These are amazing. Ah, uh, oh man. So <laughs> the other new mold we have is Spartan CQB. That's just outstanding. There's also an interesting behind the scenes as to why we've got all these figures, but Mega will give you more details in my interview with Kevin. But this is kind of like a Mega fan vote 4.0, because like everything in here has been requested by the fans for a long time. It's amazing. Like the Return of the Chips Dubo figure after uh, the Clash of the Ring blind bags, a Flood Brute, which we've never got, not even in old articulation, and then a CQB, uh, one of the only Halo 3 helmets left that we haven't got. I mean, I want security any day of the week, but CQB is amazing. I love that gray undersuit and he's got a painted weapon. Painted weapons in blind bags practically have never existed so that's really cool to see. We've also got a hell jumper which I know a lot of people do want hell jumpers. I was not as enthusiastic about that but it's still cool because we never got a metallic green hell jumper back in the day. We we're doing a lot of the olives and the different single shades instead of metallics so we never got one so still very cool to see. That's our common figures. I don't really need the hell jumpers are common but everything else amazing selection and I'm so happy that AC is is not a common figure. Let's move on to the rares. I'm gonna press spacebar on my keyboard. Look at that. First of all, it's a Halo Wars brute. It's kind of a homage, Kevin told me, uh, to the original Halo Wars brute, right? A slight little nod to that old brute figure, and I really do respect that. Then we've got the grunt, comes with a basic needler. It comes with a storm needler, I think, which is a bit weird. That's Billy the grunt, man, like. Don't tell me any otherwise. Like, that's Billy the Grunt, and it's so good to see. Like, you know Billy the Grunt is a mascot on my channel. I always love any cup of figures I can get, and that 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 original, like, Halo 3 orange grunt, that is Billy the Grunt. Canonically, I love it. The brute shot with the brute, and just so happy to see um, that head mold return since the Halo Universe series one blind bags. It was totally due a relaunch, and it looks phenomenal in this series. I would have swapped the brute for the uh, Hell Jumper. I probably would have swapped the Grunt for the CQB and just had it as pure army builders in the commons, but I'm still happy with this. They still look really great. And the ultra rare for this series, oh man, let me press the space bar here. Jager Domni looks amazing. It just totally makes sense. Jager is AC for a lot of the campaign. That's the first time we ever saw him as he was AC and he was transitioning. And I would love to see some pop and swaps of half AC, half not Jager. There's so much you can do there, and uh, what a phenomenal AC figure to choose. Like, it's all well and good when it's like a trailblazer or whatever, but like, give me a named character as AC, that's amazing. I'm all about it. So that is the rarity of these figures, common, rare, and ultra rare. I think it's pretty stellar choices. Again, the Hell Jumper I would have swapped for something else, but still very good. And honestly, the best army building set ever. I, I need so many of that brute. I need so many, well, I actually already have a lot of Chips Dubos, but I need so many of that Halo 2 Elite. I know the fans are just rejoicing over that and the new mold plasma rifle as well. But the big question is what is left because we've got so much now in this Halo Universe line and what have you still not seen? What armor, what variant of the Covenant or the Banished, what do you want to see in Halo Universe Series 4 blind bags? Let me know down below. A few more assets to share with you today folks. You can see the Halo 2 Elite helmet removed. It, it just looks phenomenal. The shoulders and chest as well like what a mwah, chef's kiss Elite. Elite, just a great figure in general. And then you've also got the blind bag assets with the box and the individual packets. They just look really great. Um, I still, you know, for the new packaging, I really do like the simplification of the box art, but for blind bags, they do look a little flat. And I would have had some of the figures a little bit bigger, like that Chips Dubo needs to be enlarged. There's, there's a lot of negative space there. When I saw everyone was uh, upset about the mandibles, I was like, okay. That's something that everyone will be happy about when <laughs> when the news eventually comes out. But then, uh, apparently, they're in stores. Like, the turnaround is so crazy. Um, so, big shout out to you all. Thanks very much for tuning in. And thanks to Mega for 
providing me with these assets. On Wednesday, I'm going to share a load of really nice official assets for the new Xbox, which I cannot contain my excitement about. It's been absurd not being able to make a video about it so quickly afterwards because on Saturday I had the SDCC recap video come out so when that um, Xbox launched on target.com I desperately wanted to make a video but I haven't yet so all my energy is being reserved for Wednesday and I've got some really nice behind the scenes assets that I can share with you guys um, for that Xbox with tons of the features. Stay tuned for that and thank you so much for your support as always. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there folks and I'll see you next time. This blind bag series, oh man. What a, what a release, like, so I keep on looking at it and my smile is just through the moon. There's always like a few that I don't really care about. This is such a good series. So uh, long live this community and see you next time.